This video presents the paper entitled Online DNN Driven Nonlinear MPC for Stylistic Humanoid Robot Walking with Step Adjustment. The paper proposes a hierarchical control framework combining a deep neural network for trajectory generation with a model predictive controller for trajectory adjustment, enabling dynamic and human like locomotion. This paper presents a three layer control architecture for humanoid robots, enabling stylistic human like locomotion with online step adjustment. A deep neural network, DNN, trained on mocap data, acts as the trajectory generation layer, while the trajectory adjustment layer, functioning as either a model predictive controller, MPC, or a receding horizon planner, refines these trajectories to ensure dynamic feasibility. A GA-tuned Kalman filter is used to reduce noise in center of mass velocity and angular momentum. The architecture integrates data-driven trajectory generation with model-based control, combining expressive motion with real-time adaptability. The following video demonstrates the trajectory generation process. It shows how the neural network, trained on human motion capture data, produces initial walking patterns for the robot. These trajectories embody the stylistic qualities of human gait and serve as input to the subsequent layers enabling the robot to replicate expressive and natural human-like movements. The next two videos demonstrate the robot walking with the trajectory adjustment layer, functioning as a receding horizon planner. In the first, the robot walks at a regular pace, and in the second, it walks more slowly. In both, the robot is subjected to external pushes. The receding horizon planner operates with a 1.2 second prediction horizon and a 60 millisecond sampling time, while the DNN generates reference trajectories at the same interval. In this setup, the receding horizon planner acts as a planner without direct feedback from the robot's state, which allows efficient step adjustments but requires explicit handling of disturbances. To manage external forces, the robot uses force torque sensors on its arms and an algorithm to estimate these forces. These forces are incorporated into the robot's centroidal dynamics for just the first sample of the receding horizon planner horizon as the disturbance is impulsive. The receding horizon planner enables footstep adjustments of up to 5 cm in response to external pushes of up to 63 newtons, helping the robot maintain stability. This method is computationally efficient, allowing for longer steps without the need for continuous real-time feedback. However, it relies on accurate force measurement to handle disturbances effectively. The DNN-driven postural references also play a key role in controlling the upper body joints. Trained on human mocap data, the DNN generates dynamic postures, allowing the robot's upper body to exhibit human-like periodic movements. This ensures realistic upper body movements that enhance the overall human-like quality of the robot's gait. The next video shows the trajectory adjustment layer functioning as a closed loop MPC with a 1.2 second prediction horizon and a 50 millisecond sampling time. Unlike the receding horizon planner, the MPC gets real-time feedback from the robot's center of mass, velocity, and angular momentum, closing the loop with the robot's state. As the shoulder roll is compliant, disturbances affect the center of mass, making the MPC aware of these variations without needing to estimate external forces. A genetic algorithm-tuned Kalman filter reduces noise in velocity estimates, leading to smoother, more natural locomotion. In conclusion, this paper bridges model-based and data-driven approaches for humanoid locomotion. The adjustment layer, using MPC or receding horizon planner, ensures feasible center of mass motion with step adjustments, while a Kalman filter reduces noise for smoother movement.